Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back. So in the previous video uh, we have implemented this uh, continue with Facebook uh, default button and uh, when we click that we're going to get redirected to a browser uh, and we're going to get an error saying that this application is still in development mode and we, not, uh, we don't have an access. So in order to change that we need to uh, set our application, Facebook application to live mode. So click this and uh, it will say that we need to provide the privacy policy URL in order to make our application go live. So uh, in order to provide that, uh, click settings, then basic, and here where it says privacy policy URL, we need to paste our privacy policy. So uh, I'm going to create a GitHub repository where uh, I'm going to store my privacy policy uh, text. So let's uh, name this repository test app uh, forward slash privacy policy. And uh, uh, basically, I'm going to, I have already generated uh, automatically my privacy policy. So uh, in order to do that, you just go to Google and Google something like uh, uh, automatically generate uh, privacy policy. And uh, you just can change the name of your uh, application and your name. Okay, so I have already done that. Uh, and uh, this, is my uh, this is my privacy policy in a simple text file. So I'm going to upload here in my repository. And I'm going to open this uh, privacy policy. Okay, so basically this is the whole text. I have just uh, modified my name and the name of our, my application here. And now I'm going to use and copy this URL and I'm going to paste that uh, inside uh, Facebook for developers here. Inside privacy policy URL input. Click save. Okay, so uh, just wait a few seconds and uh, just click this uh, use this package name. So it doesn't matter with, uh, if our application is not uh, published on Google Play. We don't need that for now. Okay. And uh, now let's click this uh, so we can uh, set our application to live mode. Okay. So first we need to uh, choose a category for our application. I'm going to select uh, education and switch mode, of course. And our application is now live. So uh, let's check again and let's open our Android emulator to see if uh, we're going to get the same error. So click continue with Facebook. And as you can see here, we see the name of our uh, Facebook application, Firebase Sign In. And it says that our application will receive profile name, uh, profile picture and email address. So we can click this continue to give access to our application. So when we give access to our application, uh, we are basically uh, we basically can continue uh, working with uh, those uh, credentials. So uh, now here inside uh, our Facebook for developers, let's go with this uh, quick start guide again. And we're going to just skip those steps which we already completed. So go next, click save, continue, click save, continue, next, next, uh, next. Next, we already imported our Facebook button and uh, down below, uh, we also need to add this on activity result. So basically, when our user uh, give permission to our application, this on activity result uh, will be executed when we get back to our application. So this uh, activity result will call this uh, callback manager. So let's rename that and callback manager will, uh, if everything is uh, successful, then our handle Facebook access token method will be executed and uh, we're going to be signed uh, successfully. So let's uh, click continue. We are giving our application uh, permission. And as you can see, our button changed to log out. So that means uh, everything worked perfectly. And af after a few seconds, uh, it will automatically uh, redirect you to this welcome activity. So basically that means uh, that our handle Facebook uh, access token method uh, was uh, successfully executed and of course uh, this update UI method as well. So that means that everything uh, was fine and basically uh, we have uh, uh, received this uh, access token and uh, we have uh, signed in the, to our Firebase uh, console and of course at the end uh, redirected our user to the second activity. So uh, uh, I'm going to stop this video for now and in the next video we're going to fix uh, some uh, bugs here. So as you can see when we click this back button we're going to see this uh, logout button and uh, we're going to change that.